stride towards Britain, and the fight for truth and freedom grows fiercer yet. Looking back on the brief Tronium campaign, gallantly commanded by Lieutenant General Carton de Wyatt, VC, the British firmly held a snowbound tract of country with few roads and only one which led to Tronium. But the big factor in the situation was that German bombers were able to fly unmolested over the British line. No airfields for British fighting planes were available, and heavy anti-aircraft guns which might have shut them down couldn't be landed. So Nazi pilots patrolled a few hundred feet above the road, machine gunning and bombing any traffic that appeared. Did you see that shake? You can thank your lucky stars that this is only a picture, that it's only a photograph of a German bomber up there above the trees. For well, there's one egg he's laid near the car in which Movie Tone's cameraman, Bonnie Powell, was travelling. Another bomb dropped even closer, but by the grace of Providence it proved to be a dud and bounced harmlessly off the road into the snow. You can see that travelling by day was a hazardous proceeding. British and French troops stuck mostly to their farmhouses or under cover until nightfall. But the British soldier is not to be depressed by adverse conditions. Judge if the morale of these men has been affected. This particular company was isolated when the Germans landed at the head of the fjord at Stenkia. Their captain brought his company back 20 miles through the German positions to rejoin his battalion. And among them is a German prisoner, a young fellow who seems a bit overawed by all the friendliness that he's receiving. Well, the order came to evacuate Namsos, and in the course of one night, the operation was achieved. Convoyed by cruisers and destroyers, the transports headed out of the fjord. Whatever the disappointments of the campaign, whatever history's judgment on the withdrawal, we may take heart from the fact that the transports themselves, packed with soldiers, crossed the North Sea safely in both directions. The men of the NWEF, British and French, with their dogs, reached a British port with no casualty worse than a little seasickness. Among them was Bonnie Powell, movie tone cameraman, bringing these pictures with him. And as the convoy approaches the welcome shores of home, a reception flight of British fighters wings out to meet them. 